All right, guys. Thursday, Wednesday, forget the day. We had a bullish bear session. Without going over the whole day, there was something that caught my attention where it was kind of bullish but sideways bullish. And all of a sudden, something happened quick to pull us out of this chop. Here's the chop right in here. Seven quarter. Seven quarter. All right. And then just watch. It gets hit quick right in here to the downside, which had me tell the room that the market now is slightly bearish and that 17s should be overhead resistance. We drop out of the box, come back to 17, and then could rotate back down. And right there is what I wanted to show, and it came through. You see that it went green and then – back to red when it goes green that means there's some aggressive buying coming in but it's not going higher or we continue to play it slow it down a little bit all right seven even and you could hear it the audio when it's a male voice is buying coming in at that price and you could hear it and is it going up you could start asking yourself that question 707 have traded you could hear the audio that i have to give you a sense that aggressive buying is coming in, it's in resistance potentially, and the market just went from bullish to bearish. And these are the things that are like ready, aim, fire to get you to look for the downside execution, pull the trigger, know where you're going to get out for a loser, which would have been above here, right? And all the things, all the makings of an opinion, a trade. And risk. You're all you're all doing it together. You're managing a risk before you take it. And it goes down, not coincidentally enough, into our first edge zone of green support and then bang sideways again. And so that's what I wanted to show just in a quick highlight and how to analyze in real time something catching your attention, going from bullish to bearish, number one. Number two, uh, rotating back up to potential resistance. And number three, buying coming into resistance and it can't get it to go up. So people will study order flow through YouTube videos, through educational courses, through books that they read. You got to see it and you got to understand what that means. If I punch a guy in the face and he doesn't fall, I'm running the other way. The buying that comes in that doesn't get the market to go up, which is the guy falling down, probably is going to run the other way. Every time? Of course not but in chances and in areas where you think there's good resistance. Remember what I said about through all the education that you guys in the trading room have taken. You have to understand what makes good resistance good, what makes good support good. What element, what dynamic has to be present in order to make support, support, and resistance, resistance. And generally, when you get speed coming down, you often get people missing the sell. And anytime you get a lot of people missing something, they're going to want to do it if they get another chance. Let me draw it on here. If you get people that, forget about this chart, just look at this yellow line. If you, the market is just going this way and it goes down real quick. Where did it go down quick? Right there. Did people miss buying or selling it? Well, they didn't miss buying it because they could buy it lower. They missed selling it. So anybody who misses something, especially if there's a lot of them, they're going to want to sell it where they missed it. So it comes up. And runs back away because you get a lot of people in one area looking to sell it. And when there's a lot of people emotional looking to sell it, all it takes is one guy to say, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. And then they all just chase it. Everybody's looking at each other. That's in this case what makes good resistance resistance. But you got to learn to follow this in real time and be around people that can make you aware of what's important in real time because that's the way to master reading something is to put yourself around guys that are good at doing it so they keep you apprised of, hey, this came out, that came out, look at this, but it's not all this kind of silly stuff. It's real stuff. It's buyers, it's sellers, it's comparing, it's contrasting. Four quarter.